are back with Lucia Grillo and TV, who is the TV host of Lucia's Vegan Lifestyle. I'm still getting my Italian correct here, okay? <laughs> you're just help, you just forgive me if I get it wrong, I can't. Just do this, I told you. <laughs> yeah, Lucia, Lucia. <laughs> Magnifico. Bonjour. Uh, let me forget it, okay? I'm going forward here, okay? Well, listen, We. I want to talk to you about the the theater credits you've done because you were in the world premiere mm -hmm. of the Lucia Luigi Luigi's comedy. I'm just gonna do this. Luigi Pirandello. Thank you. Okay. I'll, sí. I'll just let you say okay. the names and I'll just be quiet and just mention. I'll it. explain that to you. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. But it, the comedy Twelve Letters. But you also. But there or or I, I, but there was also you've also done like. Buzzati's The Clock, mm -hmm. and both at Cherry Lane, and like, so like, when you did those theater works, like, what was, what was like going through your mind when you took point, when you decided to do those, and like, what was the inspiration of you getting involved with these okay. projects? Okay, so um, bu I'll start with Buzzati, The yes. Clock, Buzzati, we would be I guess in English, Buzzati, yes. Anglo <laughs> anglicized. The clock. So Buzzati was, this is really interesting, he was, um, oh, um, oh my God, what do we call it? Um, in English, what do we call it? A crime reporter in mm -hmm. Italy. Yes. So he would literally go and report on gruesome crimes. So then he started writing um, short stories. Mm -hmm. So Buzzati's The Clock is about this woman Actually, it, it, he did sh several short, short stories about women who killed their significant others. Ooh. So we don't know if they are the victim or the perpetrator. Mm. I was asked to perform in that by a dear friend of mine who has an Italian theater company here in New York, mm -hmm. and she asked me to be in that. Then she was producing a night of Italian one acts at the Cherry Lane, mm -hmm. and she asked me to do something uh, for it. So, 12 letters. Pirandello, you'll know, he did a play, he wrote a play that is pretty well known in the theater world, even here, called Six Characters in Search of an Author. Yes. And Pirandello always dealt with the, the duality of identity. So, for example, who is David? David's, David's a, a TV host. Mm -hmm. No, David's my son. You know, so your mother would say, no, David's my son. And I'd be like, no, no, no. no they, He's no, not they, your son. No, they He's a TV host. That's right. So this kind of duality of identity and in, in other ways. So he, I studied, I, I majored in acting at NYU, but I minored in Italian literature. So I studied Pirandello in depth. And one of the pieces that I really loved was a short story, a little novella, comedy, mm -hmm. called The Twelve Letters. Yes. That is all about these lovers. You know, one is trying to fool the other. I mm. saw you with so-and-so, <laughs> but no, I'm having... And it's about these twelve letters that this woman wrote to her lover Ooh. that someone else has that was involved with her lover. And, oh, it's just this, you know, intricate mess. <laughs> Hilarious. You're because taking me on the hot mess express right now here. <laughs> so I got to, I've always, since college, I've wanted to uh, play this. I've been yes. wanting to present this on stage. Mm -hmm. So finally, the opportunity came up. So I translated it from Italian to English. Yes. Trans transcribed it from prose to play format. Uh-huh. Edited it down to, because we, we were doing like a 10-minute play. Mm. Edited it down, produced it, and acted in it. And I asked a friend to direct it, because I just didn't want to direct it as well. Right. And it was hilarious. It was such a joy to perform this. Yes. How easy is it for you to like whether, because you mentioned you don't like di directing that much, but if you were given the opportunity to direct, how easy would it be for you to like direct any of these things that you've done. Oh, I love directing, and I do. I'm a film director. Yes. I've directed music videos. Mm -hmm. um, I've directed a lot of short form content. Yes. And I've directed theater. I just, in that piece, I just didn't want to also right. direct myself. Mm -hmm. I wanted someone else's eye on it so I could fully enjoy acting. That's what, that yeah. was the question yeah. I was trying to ask. Yeah. Yes. But I love, I do love directing so much. Mm -hmm. I love it. 
-hmm. Yes, because you know you've also done like documentaries mm -hmm. as well yeah. here with your Calabrisa Films banner. Here. Calabrisella Films. So Calabrisella means my parents are from the Calabria mm. region in Italy. Mm -hmm. Calabrisella means Calabrian girl <laughs> or little Calabrian girl. I'm by no means little, but Calabrisella means Calabrian girl. So I named my production company in homage to my parents also because the only reason why I became a filmmaker mm -hmm. is to preserve my family's history. Mm -hmm. So I started writing narrative films based on true stories that happened in my, my parents' region. Mm -hmm. Wow, you know, everything goes all along here. Um, but what was, what, you know, with the music videos that you did, what would, what would you say is like the best music video that you have ever oh, gotten involved in that you did here? Now we're putting you on the spot, mm -hmm. just so you know, just because this is the spotlight. <laughs> <laughs> this, and this oh. is the last question, because I <coughs> want me to wrap it up here. I'm feeling the heat. <laughs> um, um, I, well, I've done everything from Italian rap and pop, because I lived in Italy, yes. to Brooklyn doom metal. Mm. So do I you, love, yeah. do you, can you do like a little Italian rap for us? Or like I'm not a rapper. Oh. Actually, I did once freestyle in really? Italy. Really? Can once. You, can you show <laughs> us it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely okay. not. Okay, yeah, I, I get. I, <laughs> we'll just leave it I'm there. I'm gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you what I have coming up well, if okay. you want to close yeah, there. Well, why don't you do that? Okay, that, so right? <laughs> I'm getting ahead of my. I'm <laughs> having too much fun with her. <laughs> I want this to be longer. Yes, um, I wish it could be longer, fun, but it's too, too much fun. Time just goes yeah. so quick. But just it's tell us what you okay. have coming up. So right. besides Lucia's vegan lifestyle, which yes. airs also here on MNN and on YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, I am, I'm also, as I said, a filmmaker, screenwriter. Yes. I have in development a, a, a lungometraggio, a feature film <laughs> between Italy and here, an original screenplay that I wrote, but I also am adapting a book really? to television really? to be an intercontinental, you know, international drama series, a, an epic feminist story wow. of one family of women starting in the late 1800s in my parents' region. This book really was written there. Uh -huh. And um, coming to New York and then going other places. So it's wow. basically the story of what women go through told through this one family. Wow. So you know, the next time you come on the show, we could definitely have you on and discuss about it because right. we appreciate having you on. The time just goes so quick, you know. Yeah. You're welcome here anytime Thank you, here. Thank you. You know, our special thanks to Lucia <laughs> Bill of Lucia's Vegan Lifestyle. <laughs> it airs every other Tuesday bi-weekly at 8.30 p.m. on MN's Lifestyle channel, as well as YouTube, as she said here, all right? Anything else I'm missing here? Uh, well, if you will have me on again, we can talk about so much more. Oh. <laughs> She's making me hot already, but thank you, <laughs> Lucia, for everything. We'll be right back, y'all. <laughs>